There were very high expectations for Mexican lightweight Genaro Valdez coming into his fight on season five, week six of Dana White's Contender Series. Not only did he have the reputation of Entram Jim and his main training partner, Brandon Moreno, to uphold, he had a fantastic resume. All nine of his wins coming by way of finish. And uh, as a result of that, he was a heavy favorite coming into this fight, but he walked right into a firefight with Patrick White. It was a crazy fight. Mouthpieces were flying, an unbelievable pace, but not long into round two, Valdez did find the mark and got it done. Now, he's going to be making his UFC debut at UFC 270, and it's a good thing he knows how to get into a gunfight because he's be going to be facing another really tough opponent in Matt Frivola, a guy who also can bite down on this mouthpiece and just go out there and swing. This should be a really fun fight coming up at UFC 270, but before we get there, let's take a look at how Valdez punched his ticket to this big opportunity. Ready, ready, fight. White blitzes out. That's an early shot and another. He's throwing. He's swinging big. And not on Valdez immediately into the clinch along the fence. And you honestly thought Valdez would have the striking advantage, but he's the one that starts the engagement in the wrestling. But sometimes those ultra aggressive, crazy, unorthodox, frankly, green and not technical fighters are really tough to deal with in that first round. And now Valdez is training against guys who have good technique on a day to day basis. He's not getting wind at you know, in rounds in the gym. I love the way Patrick White came out there and started slinging leather. Why not? Right from the mix-up and in, in the weigh-in zone, the inspection zone, to forgetting the cup, forgetting the mouthpiece, to going out there and just throwing full leather at, at, at Valdez. I love that. Give him the change up, right? And blitz. That's the one man in. Almost circled his way off the fence before Valdez puts him right back down. White's got to adjust the underhook. Right now, he's, he's using his, like, to keep his balance, but he's got to adjust the underhook. Right now, he's adjusting in his balance, right? Remember what I said? He ate that kick first. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh, that's it. The combination was fast, but he chases another takedown attempt, and that time he gets it. That time, Valdez got his hands locked under the butt to take White down. But White does a good job once again of getting back his feet. He's back up. I mean, though, and small victories like that, when you are a plus 600 underdog and you get taken down, you get right back up, that's another moral victory, right? That's confidence to continue through this round and continue to do your best out there and throw those big shots. Valdez is struggling to get this takedown because he's beaten the position, but he's not. He's not setting any traps in terms of getting Use movement off of white. When you're trying to take guys down, they can't down. You see, he moved him a little bit. And he got him down that oh, 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 the chin. White oh, returns to his feet. Oh, that is close on the choke, and he lets it go. Not a great angle on the choke, but if I'm, hey, if I'm down dead, Laura, I'm putting him back on the ground trying to choke him out. Oh, absolutely, and that was a mistake on Valdez's part, right? He wants that first round finish. He did not wait to get his hooks in. Got a little uh, happy with the choke there. Levels hey, halfway hey, through this hey, frantic hey, first hey, round. Hey, These guys are going after him. If you're right, right, though, you do not hey, want to turn hey, your hey, back hey, to get up hey, because hey, he did not even hey, recognize hey, that hey, choke point. Hey, hey, it was hey, indeed. Hey, if if hey, Valdez hey, would have hey, taken his time, this fight would be over already. He's doing a decent job of, of you know, defending the single leg takedown for Valdez. They look for a power trap there. He's got he's got the over jack. Oh man. Final minute of round number one. 
Incredible we've gotten this far. It's the loudest the Apex has been on a Tuesday night all season. He's taking the technique out of Valdez as well. Valdez is the combination for White. White's got a second win here. Valdez is tired, big right. Shot. Those are the shots that can make you really finish a guy. But then that was that little counter left hand there by Valdez that hurts him in the right hand. Then another left hook by Valdez that drops White. Valdez pounces. Herb Dean stops it. I mean, it was really two clean shots that ended the night. But those guys hit each other with everything. And I'm not being I'm being honest with you, Fitzy. I thought Valdez was done. He looked yeah. so fatigued. He did. But he was able to put together enough shots to get White out of there. That was fun. Ladies and gentlemen, after 44 seconds into round number two, referee Herb Dean calls a stop to the fight for the winner by TKO Hinato Valdez. He has finished all 10 of those victories. This one coming 44 seconds into round number two.